Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick test of the Lazy Nozomi product and this is basically a plugin for Photoshop or a program that works with Photoshop to make your line work smoother. Um, anyone who's tried doing inking in Photoshop line work, uh, most people will find it's really difficult to get a clean smooth line. Um, I'm personally, I am terrible at, at line work so this is almost like uh, you know a beginner review, someone who's not very good at line work. But I figured I would record myself doing this and then I could just put up the results at the end and let you, you know, you guys judge for yourselves. And also so that I can see if there is much difference in it, if it is worthwhile purchasing or not. So I tried to keep this like a fair test throughout by using the same Photoshop brush and it's size 10 and it's the pressure sensitive one. Obviously you need to be using a pressure sensitive tablet, pen and tablet for that. And that first face that you've just seen uh, get inked was without the lazy Nozomi turned on so that was standard inking in Photoshop. And this second one is with the subtle smooth setting turned on on the Lazy Nozomi product. And I think the idea of this one is that you're not supposed to notice it too much, but it's just supposed to make your line work a little bit cleaner. Um, you can judge for yourself at the end uh, when I put a picture of them all up, lined up together so you can see better. Again, you can probably tell that I really am not very good at line work. It's not yeah, it's not what I usually work with, but I'm trying. But it, especially in Photoshop, it really is so difficult for me at least. And I'm using Photoshop CS6. And most people who you know do their inking digitally will tell you the the best way to get a smooth line is to do really fast lines. And if you get it wrong, just undo it and redo it, as opposed to trying to go really slow. I think that's because tablets are so sensitive that when you're going slow, it picks up every little shaky movement. So that's not a good idea. Although there is actually one setting on the Lazy Nozomi that is for going slow, which is the last one, which you'll see soon. So this third one is the pressure gain smoothing setting. Um, I'm not going to claim to know exactly what it does, but it's something to do with the line weight, i.e. how thick the line is and how thin it is. Uh, one thing that I really struggle with when it comes to line work is linking the lines together. You know, if it's, uh, if it's something really long, like going all the way around the head, like that top hair line, for example, um, you can't usually do it in one line, or at least I can't, and um, doing two smaller lines you can usually see where each line has ended, so it usually looks a little bit crap, basically. Now this last one is the one that I probably liked the most, or noticed uh, the best results with, and that's pulled string setting. And this one is better for working slow with, so fast lines don't actually work very well with this. It definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. Certain things in particular were very difficult. Um, that that centre bit of the nose, the like the nostrils, that was really hard to get right. Uh, the iris, uh, the round part of the eye was really hard to get right on this setting. Um, but even more difficult than that was the actual the pupil, the the dot in the centre of the eye, the black dot. Um, I just couldn't paint in with that uh, smoothing setting on, uh, so I just switched back to a normal brush just to dot it in. And I'll give you a quick demo now just to show you why that wouldn't work. So just with that, that same brush in Photoshop with Lazy Nozomi turned off, that's a line, obviously. Quick stroke uh, is usually better than going slow like that. If you're trying to get, be really careful, you can see why that just wouldn't work. So now we'll try the same thing with the pulled string on just to show you how that works. Uh, you can actually see that it has a string that does pull it, so it's quite literally a pulled string. But the only downside to that is that it is a little bit delayed because of that. You can hopefully see what I mean there. If I wanted to go to where my uh, brush is and then turn down, it would do it there instead of there. Um, so you've just really got to get used to it. But once you are used to it, it is actually pretty good for making smooth lines. So there's a comparison of the faces in the order that I did them now. Uh, please make sure you're watching this in full HD quality if you want to compare them properly. Um, there's not as much difference as I was hoping with. Some of them I can't really tell the difference. I think the pulled string one is slightly better. But again, maybe I should have played around with the settings a little bit more. Um, all I can recommend is go to the website. I'll put a link in the description and try it as a free trial and see what you guys think. See if you can get better results than I did. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscription button at the bottom of the screen. You can also see some of my other videos by clicking the video links on screen now. Links to my Facebook and DeviantArt can be found in the description box. Thanks for watching.